Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, the 26th of Feb April. <laughs> Oops, it's early. It's not early. It's uh, 10 past 11. Uh, me and Oscar have just woken up. He's looking at me like, what are you doing over there? Anyway, me and Oscar just woken up. I have not had my coffee yet. It's a good job you can't smell breath through the camera because morning breath. Um, anyway, Oscar's had his milk. He's had half. Uh, these days, in the morning when he wakes up, he has like 200, oh you can't even see it, I'm holding it wrong side, he has like 200 milliliters. Um, today, because he woke up already before once, so he's only had half this time. Um, usually throughout the day we give him 140 per time because we just keep him regular but not too stuffed. Um, what about your baby? How much does your baby have at different intervals throughout the day? Um, he hasn't changed his nappy yet. I haven't changed it, so that's about 11 hours worth of nappy needs to be changed because we don't change him at night anymore. We used to sort of wake him up to change it, but now we're just like, let him sleep all the way through the night. And then when he wakes up, after he's had his milk, we change him. If you change him before he has his milk, he's guaranteed to pee all over his body and all over you. So we let him have his milk. And I think while he's drinking his milk, he has a pee, or just after he has a pee. So pretty much any time now, I can change him, and it'll be okay. And that nappy will be heavy. Boom! Give him a good old wipe. And then wait for him to have his poo. He's pooing like twice or three times a day now. So, yeah, pretty much as soon as I change his nappy, he's going to have a poo, usually. And then one more before I go out later. And then one more in the night. So he's very regular. <laughs> anyway, let's go say hi to Oscar and then let's go get me a coffee. And today I'm going to be talking a lot of random nonsense. So if you're not interested, just close the video and I'll see you tomorrow. But if you are interested or if you're just bored or if you're just whatever, just leave it open and let's just have a chat. All right, let's go find Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you okay? Yeah? I'm gonna have to give Oscar the title of Master of the Stealth Poo because usually we can hear him doing a poo like like this but I just wanted to change his nappy and there was already a poo in there so I'm not sure exactly when he did that so I'm glad I did it, you know, soon after he woke up, otherwise he will be very uncomfortable. Yeah. Alright, Oscar. Oscar, say hi. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah? Hello. 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 No, you wave. Hello. He's not into waving. He doesn't like people controlling his hands either. Hello. There you go. Alright, well, gonna have my coffee and I'll uh, get right back to you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Right, so this is my brunch. It's actually some leftover dinner from uh, the other night. My Chinese teacher gave it to me. Um, my old, she's not my Chinese teacher now, anyway, she was my Chinese teacher, whatever. She gave it to me. It's just pretty much vegetables. Uh, it's rice, some sweet corn, some peas, some beans, and some sort of like egg and some other vegetable thing. It was separate dishes and now it's just like a mess, but it tastes all right, so. That'll do for my brunch, and then we'll see about lunch. I might order a pizza. <laughs> Don't tell Hillary. Let's go. The officials bribed Olympic officials to get the game. 
Those officials have admitted giving $400,000 in college scholarships to <laughs> the this year. After multiple investigations of the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics finish, 10 IOC members either resigned or were forced out. And an independent ethics panel reportedly concluded that around $1.2 million worth of cash, scholarships, jobs, medical treatment, shopping sprees, and other expenses were gifted to IOC delegates by the Salt Lake City Olympic Committee okay. to gain votes. After the scandal surrounding 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics, the IOC made many oh, reports, Oscar. Look, Oscar. the commission, which mm, uh, the special IOC commission mm, mm, mm. But fast forward nearly two decades, in Brazil, police have raided the home of the head of the country's Olympic Committee as part of an international investigation into Okay, we tried. I just went to have a shower, and while I was in the shower, as usual, Oscar was screaming his head off because he doesn't like to be left alone, which is understandable, he's a little baby. And as soon as I go in that shower or the bathroom or whatever, if I close the door, that's it. He's lost it. He's like, ah, like letting everyone in the whole block know that he's upset. So sometimes what I do is because I feel like if he can see me close the door, then he's more upset than if he can't see me. So sometimes I push his crib back into the bedroom and then like push up the door so he can't see, he can't hear what I'm doing. Uh, he still cries, but then he tends to stop and start playing with his like toys or whatever. And this time, while I was having a shower, he stopped crying. And I was listening, I was thinking, is he okay? So I quickly finished my shower, and I came out, and then I saw that he was sleeping. So he'd cried himself to sleep, and now he's still sleeping, which is amazing. So I've got a bit more time to drink some water and get ready because we're gonna head out. Hilary wants me to go to her work to see her, but I'm not sure if I wanna go because like, we seem to be repeating the same thing every Friday. Go to her work and then the same old man picks up Oscar, takes him away, like disappears, and I'm just like stood there thinking, what the hell? Why are we doing this every week? So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ask Hilary, like, what's the point of me going and I don't know, if that guy's there, I'm, I'm not feeling too comfortable with that, so I'm just putting it out there. I'm not saying he's doing anything weird, but I think he's a weirdo, that's what I think. And I don't like when he picks up Oscar and just walks away, so this time, if I go, I'm going to tell Hillary that that guy cannot do that. Alright, let's drink some water now and chill for a bit while Oscar's sleeping. Oscar is still asleep, he's been asleep now for about two hours and I, uh, oh two and a half hours, and I am using the time to catch up on some YouTube, I was reading a bit of a book, and I've just ordered some food, I'm so sorry I ordered McDonald's, but it cost me eight pounds something, and I got like a burger, fries, coke, four chicken wings, and um, a pineapple pie, <laughs> so all my gym stuff, I Anyway, I go to the gym so I can eat, okay? I don't go to the gym so that I can't eat. That's the whole point of going to the gym, to eat. You know what I mean? Anyway, so this is really good. I was planning to go out to go to Hillary's work, but I won't do that now, I don't think, because she's gonna be really busy. Um, I'm still gonna take Oscar out, but just not to Hillary's work, so I'll take you with me when that happens a bit later on. But all good, he's, Ah, he's been sleeping for a main part of the day, which is really good. That means I can relax, I can just chill and enjoy my free time. Anyway, hope you're having a good one. How's your day been so far? Are you going to watch this vlog to the end? Let me know in the comments down below. If you make it to the end, let me know in the comments down below. <sighs> Oscar's just woken up. Feeling fresh? Feeling good? And he snatched my AirPod. He's feeling very proud of himself. He's like, yeah. Oscar, look, I have one more. Look, Oscar. Look. No, he's not looking at that. But anyway, yeah. Now he's awake. I gotta feed him. My food isn't here yet. 
It always happens like this. He sleeps, then I get some food or I cook some food or I heat some food or whatever. And then before the food's ready or the coffee's ready or the whatever's ready, he wakes up. So then I don't have a chance to eat or drink whatever it is that I prepared. Because if I go and eat food now, he's going to be howling at me like, what are you doing? So I have to feed him first. And then maybe when I feed him, he's going to have a poo and then all sorts of nonsense. And it just takes absolutely forever. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to get that sorted out and um, I'll be right back. I've got one more look this side. You see it? You want to get that one too? Hmm? Yeah? Go on then. No? Not interested? Just want to poke it half out? All right. You put it back. You want to get it again? No? Today's not interested in pulling the second one out. As long as he's got one, he's all right. All right then, let's go. Is that one we eight? Oh dear, here it is, here it is. This is a, some Angus beef burger and uh, four chicken wings and a Coke. Damn it. Okay, let's go, we are going out. Are you ready? Happy? Of course you're happy. Say something. Say something to your fans. Say hi, fans. No? Okay, just anxious to get out. All right, let's go. Now we're heading out. Oscar's ready. I'm ready. What? I think he's trying to guess which one's coming first. Oh, he guessed right. Hey. Walking with Oscar now, he just won't sleep. He's so tired though. <laughs> Ended up going to hear his work. Regretted it once again because I don't know where people get this habit of picking up someone else's baby and then just walking away. Like all her colleagues seem to have this habit of pick up Oscar and then walk away and we can't see them and it just drives me mad. I just think, why do you need to walk away? Why can't you just pick him up right in front of us? Every week I say, I'm not going to go there again, I'm not going to go there again, and then I end up going there because she asked me to go. Hillary, explain yourself. She can't. And now when we go back, the witch is going to be there, waiting for us. No doubt. Perfect end to my day. I already ate McDonald's not too long ago, it feels like. So I need to eat a big dinner, luckily, so I won't be eating any of the stuff that her mum cooks. As usual. In protest. What's that behind me? A bike? A car? A plane? Bought Oscar a new toy today. Let's go check. Yeah. Ooh, ye. I am back home now and I'm once again confined to the bedroom in order to avoid being around the Grim Reaper. Sunday here is a holiday uh, because in China when they have a public holiday they have to work a day to make up for the days that they're having off. So, I don't know, it's weird, but it means that Sunday, Hillary gets the day off work because all the students and everything are gonna be at school, so they can't go to her company to do ballet and whatever. So that means she'll be home on Sunday and Monday and maybe Tuesday. So we'll have three days to do whatever we want and said person will not be around. So that's excellent. 
So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here because I haven't got anything else positive to say and it's the end of the day and of course, what's it has arrived and ruined my mood. So ah, uh, once again, I'm stuck here. I'm gonna edit this video, try and stay positive and I'm going to hopefully, if I have time, update my blog. If you haven't been on my blog, go on the blog. And I think that's about it. So I will see you guys and girls tomorrow for the, I'm trying to see if I can do a vlog every day this month. So far I've done it, 26 days so far. Let's see if we can keep it up to 30, how many days in this month, 31? 30, 30, yeah, fingers crossed. All right, that's all, goodbye.